In JavaScript, there are multiple ways to create the classes. Even with the help of functions also, we can create the class. In this video, we are going to see how we can create the class in a different ways and how we can utilize them and what is the best way to create the class. There are certain differences in between the classes and functions also. Because we can override the function definition but we cannot override the class. So let's see how classes and functions are fundamentally different. So here we have one class called student1 and we have created one constructor with the parameter id, first name, last name, address and date of birth. And we have assigned this parameter to the class variables the id first name last name and we have you assign this with the help of this object there is another object method we have created called get full name and in this from this method we are returning the full name by concatenating this first name and last name we can have another way to represent this class structure so let's first call this uh, create the class object and uh, here we have the s1 and then just console log it so we have called this full name method and we can get this uh, whole details over here now let's try to create another way of class so what i have done here i have created one constant called student2 and i have assigned the class definition as this is a block of code and with the help of this structure also we can create the classes and you can see the structure is very similar but instead of giving name over here i have created one constant and then i have assigned this body to that constant and this will work very similar to that one so similar way we have created this object over here and we have called that object so you can see over here we can access what are the values we have passed from here now let's try to access the method also so similar way we can access the method as well the all set of things are very similar so this is actually then anonymous class anonymous because we have we don't have any name over here and we have assigned this class to one constant now very similar to this but we have created another way to create the class definition so in this class we have actually created one class definition now this is not anonymous right now the class name is student and we have assigned this body or this structure of class to one constant now again we can create the object with the help of this uh, student uh, variable or constant we can say and very similar way so like this you can see that I have created one s3 uh, variable and new student3 and uh, call this constructor very similarly as we did previously and similar way we can call this object and we can even call the method of the object the whole set of things and operations will be very similar to that now this is the different ways how we can create the classes with the help of class keyword but there is another way to create the class with the help of functions as well so we are going to see how we can create that now this structure this class structure this current structure we have created this is provided by the ICMA 6 and the creating the classes with the help of functions that is very older way but still we are going to understand that and what are the differences in between creating the class structure with the help of these classes and functions. So let's see that. So here we have one function called func student and I have passed few parameter to it. Now I am assigning those parameter value to the object uh, variables. So these are the object level variables id first name last name address and date of birth and again we are uh, creating one more function over here so we have assigned one arrow function to this function or we can say constant now and with the help of this keyword we are assigning all this set of values to it 
Now let's create one object and see how we can access all these variables and function. So I am I'm creating one uh, object with the help of new keyword very similar to what we do for the other normal classes. And now we are doing the console log of this object. So you can see what is inside this object all the variables and values we have passed from here are getting assigned to it and now let's call this function how it looks like so again i'm calling this function and you can see the result of it so we are having the first name as a john and last name as a doi zero and this is what we are actually getting written from here so that's how we can create the functions and variables inside the main function and then create the class object of it so this is very old method of doing inside the javascript